Hey guys and gals, here's a quick tutorial on how to send an e-consent to the borrower. This assumes that you created the file in Encompass and that they did not apply on Consumer Connect. So the first thing you want to do is go to the pipeline, open your loan. The minimum requirements for sending an e-consent are the first and last name and a home email address and that's it. It's best to have at least a subject property or a home address so that when they get into the portal it looks kind of familiar, but all you need is name and home email address. Once you have that info in there, open your e-folder, come over to e-consent, click it, wait for that to load. Once that pops up, Keep this selected as current user so it'll show as it's coming from you. Select the people you want to send it to. We're doing the borrower. The authorization code is going to be the last four digits of their social security number. And that's spelled out in the email. Make sure your subject line says e-sign consent. Please complete ASAP. If it doesn't change it with the drop down. This tells them the last four is their authorization code. And you can be notified by clicking here if you want to know when they receive it. But once you've filled all that in, simply click send. And once the window closes, it's done. You can verify it by hitting e-consent again. And you can see here that it was sent. Once it's accepted, you'll see it here, but you'll also be emailed and the file will have an alert. Once that's sent, your borrower is going to get an email that looks exactly like this. The from name is going to be your name, the person it was sent from, and it's going to say, e-sign consent, please complete ASAP. And it'll give them instructions, state who it's addressed to, and they need to click down here. And in this circumstance, they're going to be creating a new account, which is covered in the next video. And it's directed at the borrowers. So that's as easy as it is to send an e-consent.